Assalamu alaikum students how are you all I hope that you all are fine today our lecture is related to uh, chapter 3 which is basic algebra and algebraic manipulation in old book it's it's uh, chapter 4 but in new book it's chapter 3 and I'm going to explain you question number 7 of exercise 3a before starting the lecture I would request you that if you want more help regarding your subject can I subscribe this channel Okay, G, let's come to the question. I'm going to show you the question. Question number seven. Here, question number seven is given that a is equal to b, a is equal to three, b is equal to minus four, and c is equal to minus to evaluate each of the following expressions. So here expressions are given, and I'm going to explain you that how would you put the values in this expression and you will find out the answer. Part A is 3a minus b over 2c. 3a minus b over 2c plus 3a minus c over minus c over c minus b okay here the values of a b and c are given so the value of a is 3 and the value of b is minus 4 and the value of c is minus 2 so what you need to do is you have to put these values in this expression to find out the answer okay G. so this is 3a instead of this a i will put its value which is 3 okay what you need to do is wherever you can see a you have to put its value which is 3 and wherever you are seeing b so instead of b you will put its value which is minus 4 and wherever the c is you have to put its value where which is minus 2 so i will tell you that how would you put the value and how would you solve it okay 3a the value of a is 3 so instead of this a i will write 3 minus b so instead of b i will write its value which is minus 4 over 2c so this is 2 and instead of c i will put its value which is minus 2 all right now in between here you can see the sign it's plus sign so put the plus sign in between now solve it 3a instead of a put 3 minus c instead of c put minus 2 instead of this c put the value of minus 2 here i'm writing the value in bracket because the number is having minus sign with it whenever a number is having a minus sign you can write it in the bracket okay c minus b c is minus 2 and minus b again the value of b is minus 4 so i will write it in the bracket okay now what you need to do is wherever the two signs are coming together just multiply those signs. Here you can see that these two signs are multiplying with each other. 3 3's are 9. Minus and minus plus 4 over. Here you can see that there is no sign between these two and this bracket. So these two numbers are multiplying with each other and remember the rule that Whenever you do the multiplication first, you have to multiply the sign. So here with, the, with this 2 is plus, so plus minus is minus. So I am going to write minus. 2 twos are 4. So I will write 4, minus 4. Now this plus sign is in between, write it as it is. Now solve it, 3 threes are 9. And these two signs are coming together, so multiply them. Minus and minus plus 2 okay this is minus 2 write minus 2 as it is now here these two signs are coming together multiply them minus and minus is plus so write plus 4 okay G. now solve it 9 plus 4 is 13 and minus 4 as it is write this sign plus now solve it 9 plus 2 is 11 and in the denominator plus minus is minus it means that you will do the subtraction you will subtract 2 from 4 and when you will subtract 2 from 4 you will get 2 okay remember that whenever you are having fractions like this and in between there is a plus or minus sign so it means that you have to take the LCM 
So here you have to take the LCM. So there is no space over here. I'm going to raise the this upper portion. I hope that you have noted till here. So now I'm going to raise it. Okay, I'm going to drawing the line over here so that I can separate it. Okay, here the fraction is 13 minus 4 and 11 and 2. So I'm going to write 13 over 4. Okay, when I will divide the signs, remember that you will get the same thing when you will divide the sign as you get in multiplication of sign. So here with 13 is plus, plus minus is minus. So minus 13 by 4 plus 11 by 2. Two. So, in the I will take the LCM of the denominators which are 4 and 2. So, here I am making the rougher column and I am going to take the LCM of 4 and 2. Okay, 2's are 4, 2 1's are 2 and 2 1's are 2. So, the LCM is 4. 2 2's are 4. So, the LCM is 4. So, I am going to write it in the denominator 4. Okay, now see the denominator, this time 4 is 4, it's 1 times and multiply the numerator with 1, 4 1s are 4. And this time 2 is 4, it's 2 times and multiply the numerator with 2, 2 2s are 4, 4 1s are 4. Now multiply the numerators, okay, I'm going to raise it as I have wrote it down. Okay, 13 1s are 13 and here with 13 is minus sign, so I'll write minus 13. And 11 twos are 22. Okay, now we will solve it. Plus minus is minus. It means that you will subtract 13 from 22. When you will subtract 13 from 22, you will get. So, when you will subtract plus minus is minus. So, you have to do the subtraction. You will subtract 13 from 22. And when you will subtract, you will get 9. And remember that you have to write the sign of the bigger number. So the bigger number is 23. There is a plus sign over here. So no need to write plus sign. Now here you can see that this is improper fraction. So whenever you're having improper fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. So you have to divide it. And when you will divide it, you will get 4 twos are 8 and 1 will be left. Okay. 2 whole 1 over 4. So 2 whole 1 over 4 is your answer. I hope that this part is clear to you. Now I am going to explain you part uh, B.